Big ups to everybody who's in the building right now, um, you know, rocking with the baddest girl, um, you know, Natalie Nunn and shit. <laughs> 2011, I got, I got a lot of shit popping, I just, uh, signed a deal, um, I got a little hot ass joint coming out, talking that fucking bay bitch shit, um, yeah, um, everybody's over here talking about, you know, Natalie sings now, hell motherfucking nah, Natalie don't sing, but hell motherfucking yeah, Natalie gonna get that advance check, and hell motherfucking yeah, Natalie gonna rock with EMI, Natalie gonna rock, she gonna put out some shit talking that bay bitch real shit, so, at the end of the day, um, 2011, I got another show about to come out in, 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 any day now, um, literally any day now, um, but I just want to also say, um, you know, through, through, through the last few days, it's been really tough for me, um, you know, I lost one of my best friends from the Bay, um, he, he was down here in LA, you know, doing his thing, um, I know he touched, he, he touched a lot of people's hearts, um, he was training, he was a trainer, he was training Omarion, he was, um, you know, working with Tiana Taylor, and I know everybody, um, you know, has a lot of love for him, so I, I want to just make sure I address the fact that, um, you know, rest in peace to Reginald, um, you know, really good friend of mine, uh, grew up together, ran track together, um, uh, a, a wonderful father, and, um, you know, it's, it's pretty tough right now, but, um, at the end of the day, you know, a lot of y'all might have seen him on my, on my U streams, um, because, you know, I, I, I will stick with my bay niggas, um, I'm a bay bitch, he was Yerramin from the bay, and, uh, you know, we grew up together, um, that, that was the homie, um, I don't like this Hollywood ass, petty ass shit, um, all these little new friends that come popping up are fake friends, um, I'm just gonna be real right now, you know what I'm saying, Reggie and, Reggie and I were real friends, uh, grew up together, um, and, and, um, you know, my heart goes out to his family, his daughter, um, his, uh, baby mama, um, his brother, his mom and dad, all his friends, everybody, um, but at the same time, um, you know, I wanted to get a lot of shit off my chest, um, I'm a real ass bitch, um, I know a lot of people have their mixed feelings about whatever the fuck they see on TV, all this fake ass fucking shit in Hollywood, all this little petty ass fucking shit, I'm not with it. So I'm, a, I'm, I'm here right now to say all the petty ass shit, I'm not with that shit. Um, you know what I'm saying? A another thing I want to get off my chest, everybody keeps saying, Natalie, you, you invited Char to your birthday party. Natalie Nunn didn't invite nobody like Char to my birthday party. Um, from season five, uh, season six, excuse me, um, she came to my birthday party. She came out of her own will to my birthday party. She jumped in pictures with me, uh, on my birthday party. I don't know Char. Um, I don't know nothing, uh, nothing about her season. I'm, I do not watch season six of the Bad Girls Club. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I I'm being a real ass bitch right now. Um, so I wanted to get that off my chest, um, because, you know, um, that's just what it is, um, and people might think I was talking shit about Char or whatever, and then she was at my birthday party and seeing pictures, no, that's not what it is, um, done, I don't fuck with her, I don't know that bitch, and I don't give a fuck about that bitch, um, another thing I wanted to just get off my chest, I want to say, um, congratulations to Tanisha, um, she, you know, she was engaged over the holidays, um, I had so much going on, I felt really bad that I, I didn't, I didn't pay attention to my timeline and see that you, you were engaged, um, so right now, I hope it's never too late for me to at least tell you, uh, congratulations, um, your, your fiancé is a wonderful man, he's a nice guy, um, you know, also, I like to get off my chest the fact that the blogs, um, saying that I'm pregnant, um, no, I'm not pregnant, um, never been pregnant in my entire life, um, another thing I'd like to just stress all of this, Natalie's a groupie bitch, Natalie was a fucking athlete before she was a bad girl on the bad girls club, Natalie was a fucking USC, USC Trojans, University of Southern California athlete before any of this shit, so, all of this, Natalie's a groupie, chases football players. Half these motherfucking football players have been chasing me since I was a fucking athlete at, at USC. So, to go any further, to have a, 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 a 4.2 honor student, um, went to fucking St. Francis, uh, number one soccer player in the country, you guys want to compare me to bitch-ass hoes that, I mean, with all due respect, you know, I give a bitch her credit when credit's deserved. You a paid hoe, be a paid hoe. But you want to compare me to these other little bitches that, that, that have no, 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 no fucking honor shit like me? Yo, I'm going to be real right now. When the next bitch comes up 
and she's done shit that I've done without coattail riding on me, or these bitches out here who haven't sucked niggas' dicks to get put on. I didn't suck no motherfucking dick to get into no motherfucking USC. Two degrees from USC. So people say, well, where would Natalie be? Where would Natalie be if she did Do you want to know where I would be? Probably playing in the Women's Professional Soccer League right now that that's about to fold in the US why because there ain't no money for so women's soccer so so what I do I'm about my money so Natalie didn't continue to play soccer I'm gonna take my personality my bad bitch ways I'm gonna go on the bad girls club and flip this shit that's what the fuck Natalie's gonna do so everybody wants to see here Natalie this Natalie that Nat Natalie has two degrees so if all fails all fails I still have two degrees that you cannot take from me Okay? Not not a degree in the strip as a stripper. You feel me? Not a degree as a stripper. A fucking degree. One of the best soccer players in the fucking country ran on the junior Olympic track team. So, with all due respect, I'm not trying to take nothing from the next bitch, but y'all motherfuckers is going to stop comparing me to these whack-ass wannabe bad girls. Because a bad bitch got a fucking degree. So see me when you got a fucking piece of paper that says something on it. Something on it. Something. Just something. Just something. You feel me? So, at the end of the day, that, that I wanted to get off the, my fucking chest. Now, I've been wanting to say that shit for a cool man. I want to say so much more, too, but I don't want to disrespect some of my motherfucking fans, too. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can't do what the fuck I did. Everybody can't do that. But I feel you. I'm going to help you. I want to help you in any way I can to get to that point. You need me to motivate you? I'm here for you. Just like my fans are here for me. You want me to motivate you to get through classes? I, you don't know how many, how many phone calls I've done with these girls, little girls who needed, who wanted to interview me on their, on their essay papers, and they looked over their paper and sent it back to them. Don't play with me, y'all. Don't fucking play with me, okay? Behind some shades, y'all want, y'all want me to talk about behind some shades? All right, hold on. Where are my motherfucking shades at? Cause we go, we gonna get behind some shades in a minute. We are gonna talk some real fucking shit. Cause all this little petty ass shit, you feel me? All this little petty ass little kid shit. All this, oh, uh, Natalie that, Natalie this, Natalie womp, 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 womp. Natalie's the bad guy, right? You feel me? Natalie's the bad guy. No. Natalie just keeps it fucking real. And a lot of people can't, can't respect that. And a lot of motherfuckers want to sit up here and make it seem like Natalie didn't, ain't do shit. Natalie's done a lot of shit. Natalie's done a lot of shit, so hold on a second, let me, hold on, let me finish though, because I'm not done, let me finish, so, Natalie is doing what a bad girl, a bad bitch from the Bay does, she's about her money, here's the story, here's the story, here's how it all went down, so, you feel me, Natalie, Natalie's uh, booked up, I'm, I'm booked, February, March, April, May, I don't even know, my schedule's so fucking crazy, it's ridiculous, I'm booked, you feel me, so, it's, it's December, I got a party in Pittsburgh, so, you know, I, I, I get on the plane, I go to Pittsburgh, my party, it's Natalie Nunn's party, and, you know, some motherfuckers show up, and, and whatever, it's a party, it's cracking, and I get, I get a, a whole like big mob of uh, boys come up to the uh, VIP, and I, and my girl, you know, my girl Tiny B is like, oh yeah, that's that nigga Wiz. I'm like, who's Wiz? You know that song you like, Black and Yellow. Oh, I fucked with that song, but I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all because I'm keeping it 100 with you right now. I didn't know who the fuck he was. I just knew his song. So you feel me? I'm I'm in the VIP. At my party. Let's make sure, you know, because we don't want any groupie type shit. Let's make sure we understand. It's my party. So, you know, I'm in the party and shit. Kicking it. Taylor gang. The Taylor gang come through to the club. You know, Wiz comes out of his way to introduce himself to Natalie. Uh, yeah, I heard you had, you were having a party. I just touched down tonight. Uh, I hope you don't mind. You know, I'm going to get my own little bottles. Um, but I hope you don't mind. I'm here. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you feel me? I don't give a fuck, nigga. So, <clears throat> big ups to everybody who's in the building again, about to hear how it all went down. So, 
you know, niggas in niggas is, is in Natalie's Natalie's party's VIP. Let's make sure we got that clear. So I'm in the party and shit, vibing, and uh, you know, I don't know that Wiz is a smoker. But he keeps trying to offer me a blunt, hit the blunt. You know, I'm an athlete, like I just said. Let me go back to what I was just saying. I'm an athlete. I always will be an athlete. I will always have rock-solid-ass legs. I will always find a way to be in shape. I don't smoke. I, don't, I might drink, but I don't smoke and I don't do drugs. Period. All due respect to the smokers in the building. You know what I mean? I'm from the Bay. You know what I mean? Bay people smoke weed all day long. Best weed comes from Humboldt County in, in... Northern California, where I'm from, so I know about it. Not going to say I ain't never smoked before, but I'm going to keep it real. I don't smoke like that. So, nigga comes through, blunts after blunts after blunts. Cool, you feel me? Cool, I ain't tripping. Nigga, what? Do what you do. That ain't got nothing to do with me. So, niggas are smoking, and this nigga's like, well, if you ain't going to hit it, let me, let me at least blow some uh, smoke into your mouth. Let me, let me blow some smoke into your mouth. Like, like, shotgun, shotgun, whatever the fuck you talking about. All due respect, you know, I ain't got no problems with Wiz Khalifa and shit. Um, you know, I mean, I'm from the Bay, so just, just just for me to keep it real with you, you know what I'm saying? All all due respect to you, I feel you, I fucks with your song, Black and Yellow, I fucks with what you're doing and shit, you know what I'm saying, my nigga? But I'm a Bay bitch, again, um, it was never like that, so we're cool, we're cool, and if you don't like what I have to say, I don't give a fuck anyways, so we're cool, but I'm gonna tell the story how it went. So... This nigga starts trying to blow smoke in my mouth. I'm like, oh, you know, it's funny, whatever at first. But then, you know, the cigarettes, I mean, the, the, uh, the blood shit stopped. And it was trying to just be all up in my face. Let's keep it real. So people start taking pictures. My girl starts taking pictures. She's being funny, t tweeting from my phone and shit. And I'm like, it's all good. I don't really give a fuck, you know? Give a fuck? I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. So... Pictures is floating on the internet. Next day, Natalie Nunn was Khalifa kissing in the club. Done. I leave. I fly into town, and I fly right out of town. Unless I got homies and motherfucking niggas I kick it with out there, I might stay an extra day or so, depending on the schedule. So, I gotta go by 6 o'clock in the morning the next day. Can I tell the story how... Hey, Wiz. Because I'm, I'm sure you're gonna know. I'm sure you're gonna see what I have to say. Can I tell the story how it really went down? Or... or or am I going to be like the new cat stacks or something? Am I going to be like the new girl who hasn't accomplished shit and don't have two fucking degrees and never did nothing with her fucking life? Is that what I'm going to be? Or can I tell the story how it really went down? Yeah, so how it really went down was Wiz went out of his way to find out who the fuck the promoter was that booked me. Because he wanted to know what hotel I was staying at. This nigga went out of his way because the room was not under my name because I do not put hotel rooms under my motherfucking name. So this nigga got a hotel at the room at the same hotel I was staying at. Am I not? Am I catch stacks now? Okay. Anyways, so whatever goes on, whatever. I leave in the morning. Nothing happened. Natalie's. Hold on. Let me get back to the fact that I like to fuck with real ass. I mean. <laughs> Okay, so, back to what I was saying, you know what I mean, yarr I mean, um, at the end of the day, you know, this nigga went out of his way to find Natalie to book a room where I was staying so that he could try to conversate a little bit more with me, done, done, that night was, I get on a plane at 6.30 in the morning to get back to Cali, okay, I get back to Cali and shit or whatever, and, um, the promoter keeps telling me, like, you know, Wiz, whatever, want to get your information. Can I slide your number or whatever over that way? I, I email the promoter back. I tell the promoter, you know what I mean? Give him my pin. 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 BBM. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay? So, you know what I mean? Ping. Except. Uh, you know, I have a show. I have a show um, this weekend coming up. This weekend coming up, um, can you come out to Pittsburgh? I was like, well, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to be booked and shit. Again, bang, you know what I mean, about my motherfucking money. I got to be booked and shit in order for me to come back out there. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just don't get on planes. I'm tired. You know what I mean? I don't just get on planes just to be getting on planes to just come see niggas. 